Okay, and then uh, in this problem, for each of the following, indicate whether it would be more soluble in water or oil, polar or nonpolar. That's the difference between those. All right, so here we have iodine, which is completely nonpolar. All right, so all it has are London dispersion forces, which means it, uh, it's not going to be able to overcome the hydrogen bonding in water. Um, and so it'll form a, uh, I mean, it, it will not dissolve in, um, in water. But in oil, it will because that is nonpolar. And so the forces of attraction between the oil and the iodine are comparable. Um, all right. Now here, you notice these OH groups, right? That's hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen onto the electronegative atom, the oxygen. Remember, it's nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. Those are the three atoms that um, exhibit hydrogen bonding, okay? When hydrogen is attached to oxygen, to nitrogen, or to fluorine. So here we have hydrogen bonding, hydrogen bonding, um, and so that's going to make it polar, all right? We do have a nonpolar section, but it's short, and with this extra uh, potential for hydrogen bonding, um, it's going to be soluble in water. In fact, this is ethylene glycol, the main ingredient in, um, or the ingredient of antifreeze. All right, um, Sodium chloride, okay, this obviously from experience we know it is soluble in water and not in oil, and that's because it's an ionic compound, um, and uh, that goes with the polarity, okay. Carbon tetrachloride, all right, now this is a polar bond, but we have to also consider that this um, molecule um, I'll write it in two dimensions like this, but in three dimensions, it's still um, all of the the bonds to chlorine they cancel each other out. In other words, they're they're on opposite sides, and so the polar the net polarity for the entire molecule is zero. Everything cancels itself out because it's completely symmetric. Okay. Um, and so we, we say even though it's a polar bond, each of these bonds is a polar bond, the molecule as a whole is nonpolar. Right? So that means this will be uh, soluble more in oil than in water. All right? Now here we look at this. Uh, this is just a long chain of carbons and hydrogens. Um, no polarity really there um, at all. There's very little polarity in the carbon hydrogen bond. And so this is nonpolar. In fact, uh, if you stretch that chain out a little bit, that's what oil is. So that is definitely soluble in oil. And HI, a polar bond, uh, maybe not greatly polar, but uh, somewhat polar there. And um, so that is going to be soluble in water. All right. Um, also, when when this is in uh, a water solution, we you know we know from experience that, um, or from last semester that this is an acidic, uh, strong acid. All right. So you put it in water and it dissociates into the ions. All right. So that's another indication that that is soluble in water.